It took little over three years to build at the cost of $11,000. The white and yellow brick had to be shipped from Ontario across Lake Huron, and it was completed in the early 1870s. As you walk into the dining room, you can almost see the loop sitting down for dinner. The south parlor was the family sitting room. The north parlor was used for special occasions, such as weddings and funerals and entertaining very important guests. Dr. Loop was born in 1811, died in 1903 at the age of 92. He attended the medical school at the University of Michigan, where he received his degree a year later. And he even went to California in search for gold. March 24th, 1852. As you head up the beautiful staircase at DeLoop Harrison, you come to the southeast bedroom, which was Dr. Loop's and his wife's. Northeast bedroom was for his daughter Ada, who married Reverend Julius Harrison, and they had two sons, Fred and Stanley. Southwest bedroom was for Stanley Harrison, who left home at 17 to become a captain in the Navy. Captain Stanley's room is now dedicated to the history of the Great Lakes and its ships. The Northwest bedroom was for his brother Fred, who became a doctor in Pennsylvania and met his wife in France during World War I. The military room is dedicated to all veterans of the Civil War, World War I, World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. 